Today, I'm gonna dig into the Meza Audio 99 Classics. I've had these for about a month now. I've been going back and forth between my AirPods and these guys. I've got some opinions. Today, I'm gonna share five things I love about these Meza Audio 99 Classics headphones and one thing I kinda hate. I love this little carrying case. It is perfect for headphones. When you have big over-the-ear headphones like this, you gotta have a carrying case. It's got a little hanger, it's, you know, it's an easy zip, and it even has a nice inner case for your cords. Not just that, it comes with a few extra things. First off, you have two different length of cord plugs straight into each side of your headphone, and then it has your standard small jack, and it comes with a few adapters. You've got this, this can plug into any larger headphone jack, and you have this guy right here, which I'm not entirely sure about. Even these have nice little Velcro pieces that you can help keep your cords nice and tidy. Two that it did not come with though, one is your standard input for your headphones to your iPhone, AKA a dongle, which is the weirdest name for one of these things ever. The second thing it didn't come with was the female port to your RCA. So you can plug it into something like this if you don't have one of those headphone jacks. Number two, I love the aesthetics. This looks absolutely great. It looks timeless. It feels solid. You get a classic design, but with modern technology, modern construction. It comes on silver, like you see here, silver accents, or you could choose gold. I like the silver because it fits with some of the accents on my turntable. You have this real wood or faux wood, kind of reminds me of, you know, 1970s shiplap or maybe the 70s, 80s wood panel station wagons. Right here, the wagon. There's something timeless and nostalgic about these things. And these headphones hint at some of that without being too dated, screams out quality. Okay, number three, I like the physical quality. They feel really solid. They feel like they're gonna last a long time. And I've checked out a few other people talking about these, and yeah, it stands up. You've got this nice little bend and play. They can be kicked around a little bit and not break. And that's what you want with any of these accessories. It feels high-end, it looks high-end, the cords have a nice weave to them, not the plastic housing you'd find in decades-old headphones. It's a huge plus that you can disconnect the headphones themselves. They plug straight into these ports down here. All right, the next thing I love, they're comfortable. I mean, I've got them sitting around my neck right now. It's almost like a padded pillow. Don't get me wrong, I do love my AirPods, but sometimes there's only so much inner earbuds you can take. They're effortless to adjust to your head size, so it should fit you whether your head is small, if you're a small human like myself, or if you have a big giant fat head too. I love the sound quality. The sound quality really at any level is pretty dang solid. The volume range is superior. I get everything my other modern headphones has. While there isn't a techie noise canceling feature like your AirPods, I feel the volume range is greater, so I don't need that option. Where did I test this? I tested it with my laptop, with my iPhone, with my turntable. I've tested it through music, through listening to videos on YouTube, and through attending Zoom meetings. And that gets me to the one thing I kind of hate about them. And it could be a personal issue more than anything else. When I walk, I have a little bit of a bounce to my step. And I love walking. With these, I've noticed that there's a little bit of a creaking when that bounce happens as you walk. And it's not my favorite thing. What do you do about that? Instead of listening at my normal volume, I've cranked it up to 11. To 11. Look. With that, that higher volume, it doesn't overpower. It doesn't seem to be 
overly deafening. There's a good quality to it, and it kind of surprised me. So they have the ability to go higher and louder, but they don't have to. So my one big gripe about these headphones is not even really that much of a gripe at all if you get it to the right volume where that creak disappears. And honestly, when I got it to that level, I could hear more of the nuances. I could hear more of the dynamic elements in the songs I was listening to. And that's exactly what you want from headphones anyway, isn't it? Meza Audio 99 Classics. This is a great pair of headphones. And when it comes down to it, these do not have the biggest issue that I find with inner ear headphones. The washing machine conundrum. AirPods are great, but forget to take them out of your pocket and you'll be buying a whole brand new pair. These guys don't fit in your pocket, so you're not gonna have that issue. Next, check out my video of five things I absolutely love about my U-Turn Audio Orbit custom turntable, and one thing I hate. As a few commenters have noted now, this dude is a damn nerd. I am Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel, and I'll see you in the next video.